Hello, only Arkasha here with a new project. So basically I've created a price tracker that tracks the prices on Amazon, Walmart, and Etsy, very similar to the existing Chrome extension, Honey. Basically, based on a given input, inputted price, it would check that price on that product's website and see if it's equal to or below that price. And if it's equal to or below that price, it would trigger an email to, to notify you of that price drop. So basically when you take a look at the code here, I have a set up a bunch of functions related to each website. So I have one for Amazon and then a click function for Amazon as well. I have one for Walmart and a click function for Walmart as well. And within them, I have separate functions that do the actual checking of the price and sending out the email. Um, so just looking through this, there's a lot of code only because of Tkinter, which is a graphical interface, which I will show you how I set that up soon. And yeah, so this is what the code is looks like and feel free to manipulate it as much as you want and check it out on GitHub. Now, one other important thing that I like to mention is that you do need to install beautiful soup onto your computer. So up here, you see that it's imported into the program. No worries. Just go to a terminal and type in pip install be beautiful soup for now press enter since I already have a download on my computer I am not gonna press enter so when you run the program this is what it looks like this is the main page here so you have Amazon Walmart Etsy and a restart function so if at any time you want to restart the program just hit this restart button it's on every page so let's take a look at Amazon so we have an entry for an Amazon link. So I have some products up here that we can take a look at. So I've got this robotic vacuum cleaner. It's currently at $159.99. Uh, so keep in mind that this does work with deals as well. So I have a different product here, which is a freezer and it does not have a deal. It's 169 and 53 cents. So we'll start with this one here. I'm going to input the Amazon link. So here's the trigger price for the email to work. So currently the price is 169.53. So I'm going to pretend that it was higher and that I would wanted the trigger price to be $170. So I have that inputted here. So then I'm going to put in an email. This is my email here. Then I'm going to put in a password. And then here is the time it takes to check the price. So you have an interval. So you could check it every 30 seconds, every minute, every 10 minutes. So for this purpose, I'm going to put it to 10 minutes because I don't want my email to be spammed. Okay, hit that submit button. And it takes you to a page where it tells you an email has been sent. And now I'm going to restart this program. And I'm going to open up my email account. And there we go. I just got a trigger email that the fridge has dropped to 169.53 and I can go to the Amazon link here. Now, another important thing that I'd like to mention is that you may run into some trouble with your password. So if you do have two factor authentication on your Gmail account, just look up, just Google app passwords, find this screen here and just follow this information over here. So just go to your Google account, hit security, hit app passwords and get a password. So when you get to this screen here, make sure to just hit select app and then hit mail. And for select device, if you have windows, hit windows computer. If you have a Mac, hit Mac and just hit generate and then use that password for the program. Now you may be wondering what would happen if the trigger price was below 
the current cost of the product. Well, let's take a look. So looking back at an example that I had up earlier of this vacuum cleaner. So let me get this link real quick. You throw in this. So since the current price is $159.99, I'm just going to put in $130 and then put my email. So obviously this isn't going to send a trigger email until the price reaches 130 or less. But just as an example, I'll show you what happens here. So every 30 seconds, it's going to check and it's going to let you know whether or not this item here, the vacuum cleaner, is equal to or below 130. And obviously, currently, it is not. So let's give it a couple more seconds to see if it show up again. In a couple seconds here. There we go. So as you can see, I've had this running here behind the scenes for a couple minutes now. Um, what I'm going to do is just show you that you could have the same program open multiple times. So I'm going to show you what happens with Walmart. It's the same thing. You put in the link. You put in a trigger price. So I'm putting in 55 uh, just because I don't just want to get that email um, so yep same thing get that password in put in a timer and yep an email is sent and then I'm gonna do the same thing with an Etsy product so we got this product here putting it in here same thing I want to get that email password and one day so I have all these three programs here running and they'll let me know if the price has dropped. Taking a look at my email again. There we go. Got an email for the Walmart product and an email for the Etsy product as well. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more content.